Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It has been a long, 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 long time since I've been back on here. This is actually my Christian YouTube channel. It's the only channel I've actually bought into the new year. Like this is how long it's been. So I'm finally back and this video is actually a little bit different than my normal videos. I don't have my usual structured videos that have, you know, my five or six scriptures, a theme. This is basically a series um, kind of God put on my heart to start um, called Transparent Christianity. And this is basically just me talking about my struggles with Christianity and like things that I struggle about because I talk to a lot of Christians, teen Christians, adult Christians, you know, most ages and every time you know I kind of get open about my struggles people are like really you know I struggle with that too and I just wish like in the church that we had you know forums where people can be open and they can talk about their struggles and not just kind of like keep quiet about it so I decided to start doing that here on YouTube um, and basically this first one is going to be on pride um, I have not scripted this at all, planned it. I haven't even really thought about what I wanted to say, so I may ramble a little bit. Please forgive me. But I have always, 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 always struggled with a form of pride. And pride is one of those sins that are just kind of everywhere. It roots itself into many different sins, and I've struggled with that ever since I hit the water. Like, not like it started then, but you know when you realize you're prideful and then you realize it's everywhere <laughs> um, and it's just kind of awful. It's like weeds, like it kind of, you think it's gone, you think you killed it in one area, but then it like pops up in another area. But um, yeah, I've always struggled with pride and being prideful and just, it's not like I go around and I'm like, huh, I'm better than everyone else. But pride is one of those like internal sins that not a lot of people see because it mostly happens in here not usually out here like you don't usually speak pridefully but it's more your internal if that makes any sense so i've yeah i've always been just a very prideful person not in the form of you know like i said thinking that i'm better than everybody else it's not really like that but it's more like in my mind, I kind of get ahead of myself. Like, I won't give God kind of the credit he deserves. I'll be like, oh, I did great on that test. But it's really, you know, God helped me to do great on that test. You know, I kind of, like, get ahead of myself. And then, or I don't like to ask for help on things because I feel like I'll look weak. Like, it's just, like, things like that. I don't like to do that. I don't like to feel like I'm in a situation where I look weak or really where I have to rely on people because that goes back to when I was bullied. I was bullied a lot in elementary school and basically up until middle school. Um, I was bullied for a multitude of things. Let's see, there was race, there was just having a lisp, there was just being different. Um, being mixed I've been bullied like basically everything twice so I don't like relying on people so that made me like really dependent on myself and independent so I still kind of have that mindset today like I'm like okay I need to do this this and this I'll do this and this and this how am I supposed to do this this and this and now you know I have God on my side I'm just like how are you know God and I gonna get through this and you know like my mindset usually isn't that I should go to prayer straight away when I struggle with things and I know it should be but that's just not where my mind's at and I'd love for my heart to be at that place um you know and I'm working on it every day but my mind just doesn't go straight to prayer if I'm stressed out I will like hit max where I'm just like at the max of annoyed and then I just realize you didn't even pray you didn't even think to pray and that's where like kind of my pride comes in because I it's not that I feel like I don't need it, but I guess subconsciously I do because like I feel horrible saying I don't need prayer. You know what I mean? <laughs> like that's an awful thing to say, but like my 
subconscious is like you don't need prayer you can just push through this like <laughs> you can row through this storm this hurricane just like keep on pedaling a little bit more or pedal harder but really if we just go to god you know we wouldn't have this problem we obviously wouldn't have this issue where i'm getting really frustrated in situations or i feel really stressed out or i just keep on like micro focusing on things um like i never really thought oh this is pride you know what i mean and i've looked at many 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 pride scriptures so i was just gonna share two with you guys um this first one which is john 3 30 i believe when the first time i read this it was super duper convicting um because i just read it and i was like well dang i need to fix you know my my mindset of you know having a relationship with god and making sure like jesus shows through me and not me showing through me if that makes sense like not uplifting myself but uplifting jesus you know what i mean so john 3 30 it says he must become greater and i must become less and this scripture you're probably thinking what the heck does that mean and it's basically john the baptist talking about the coming wait yeah <laughs> i thought it was in red but i highlighted it in a red pen okay so it is about john the baptist basically talking about his cousin coming jesus christ and he's basically saying you know um people are asking like how do you feel about this new guy coming you know how do you feel and he's like for him to become greater i have to become less and that's something i strive to live by in that mentality jesus needs to be greater so i have to become less the second scripture is james 4 6 and this scripture is kind of like put throughout the bible but i just found it right here so i'm just gonna read this one but he gives us more grace. That's why the scripture says, God oppresses the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God, resist the devil and he will flee from you. So that was through seven, but I like this scripture basically because it's just talking about that. God isn't like proud people. <laughs> proud people have to live really hard lives. You have to go through a lot of frustration just to realize that you have to rely on God. So God's like, if you are already humble and you're like, you go straight to God, then he'll help you through it like straight away instead of like chasing your own tail around and around and being like, how am I going to get this? Da, 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 da. What can I, can I, can I? But God's saying, you should be saying, what can God do? What can God do? What can God do? Instead of what can I do? What can I do? What can I do? Um... And I struggle with that a lot because, again, I'm a very independent person. I've just, I just know that about myself. So I have to think, what can God do? How can God help me? You know, how can God use me in this situation? You know, not what can I do? How can I help myself? Thank you guys for watching this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, do whatever you do. And I will see you on Sunday. Goodbye. Bye.